Today we have some big news. After days of Instagram posts with riddles and a countdown, they finally launched the new update, which is Notion Calendar. In this video, we'll be showing you around Notion's calendar and how you can download it, some key features, and our initial thoughts. If you find this useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. So let's dive right in. Let's first go to the calendar product on Notion's website where you'll find the information for this calendar. It basically is a sort of master calendar where you can keep your Google calendar as well as your database entries that have dates inside of a central place and you can turn off and on however you'd like in terms of what you see on the central calendar page. And it does seem that they basically rework the cron integration that they had before for calendar and sort of rebranded it into Notion calendar. So here you'll see where to download it. So if you scroll to the bottom, you'll find it as a desktop app and a mobile app. So what's nice is that now you can really do more sort of time blocking and so on through this app, which we didn't really get in Notion's workspace itself. So by using both, it could work really nicely. And we're also excited for any future updates that they might have. So if you click here, you can download it to your device. So once you install it, you'll have it as an application. So let's go ahead and open up Notion Calendar. So immediately when we open it up, you'll notice that on the left side, you'll see all of the calendars that we can view. So we have our default calendar, which is from Google Calendar. And we also have our calendars that are connected through our workspace. So if we click on these three dots here, you can add Notion databases to this list and search for them. So this is quite useful. So if you have any calendars that you like to see here, you can just simply search for it through here. And then you can also, once you have them in here, toggle these on or off so that you can decide what you want to see and what you don't want to see, for example. So if we toggle them all off, we don't see any of our Notion databases, but if we turn them on, we can see them like this. And the other thing that's really interesting here is that when you click into, for example, this Notion database item inside of the calendar, you can open it up in Notion and you can also sort of edit the time here as well. So if you don't want it to be all day, you can also add a time here. So unfortunately, you cannot set this as repeat since it's connected to the database, but we do hope that that's something that they will change in the future. And you can also copy and duplicate this as well. And as for the Google Calendar items, it's very useful because you can set your busy or free, for example, in your time slot. And you can also add things like docs and links, and you can even create Notion pages directly inside here, which is really cool. And you can also add conferencing and so on, and as well as the repeat here. So this could be really useful to sort of use normally, and then you could even sort of link it to your Notion pages through here. So this could be more of your central calendar in that sense. So let's kind of test it out by adding an event. So if we're going to add through our Google Calendar, we can simply just drag and create a new event. And we can change the view week, day, and so on. So let's say we want to see a week view. We can just drag like this, and it's very intuitive and fast. And if we want to write into the content calendar through the Notion database, we can just drag as well and add it in but you have to make sure that there is this mark here so that it's this calendar and you might be wondering how does this connect through your notion workspace so if we go to notion now you'll see that there's this button open in calendar so if you click here it's going to open up your calendar like this so you can see it then the other thing to note is the sort of menu bar at the top so we're going to show you that next so if we go up here, now you'll see that at 8 p.m. we're busy. Then tomorrow all day we added a test event, for example. So it's really quick to see your meetings and schedule just from this top part here, which is very useful as well. And you can just click it to go directly to that event. 
overall, we're really excited for this calendar and we really hope that Notion kind of is able to take it to new heights. Some things that we do wish that we would be able to do next is to be able to actually see this calendar inside of our Notion workspace so that we don't have to have two apps. But at the moment, this seems really exciting and we hope to kind of get more acquainted with this, figure out some new ways to use this calendar along with our Notion workspace. So we'd love to hear from you. Have you tried using this new Notion calendar? What are your thoughts on it? Are you happy with this update? And feel free to let us know if you have any questions, comments, or anything that was confusing in this video. And we hope to see you in the next one.